Hello everyone, my name is Tierra. I am the author of the blog The Black Dress Diaries and also I am the Instagrammer of the same name. I am currently fighting, like racing with time and for the sun to stay up. I think it said the sun sets at 827 and it's like 8 o'clock. So I'm going to try to be quick with this video. I am bringing to you all today some, uh, I guess this is, is it my first haul? One of my first hauls? I'm bringing a haul to you all, so <laughs> let's get started. So first things first, you all are probably tired of hearing me talk about this, but this is the Meow Meow Tweet deodorant. I got the deodorant sticks because, like I said in my last video, I ended up liking the sticks better than I liked using the deodorant cream. So I got a full-sized one to keep in my house and a little travel one to take with me for when I am sleeping over anywhere or I just need to touch up after a show. You know, it's just nice to have two different sizes. I have purchased the Desert Essence um, face wash. I can't remember what it's called ever because it's the same as the Trader Joe's uh, Spa face wash with tea tree oil um, and it's the best face wash I've ever used. And uh, Vitacost was having a sale, I believe, or I got some sort of coupon discounty type thing via email, so I just purchased it from them because I didn't know when was the next time I was going to be at a Trader Joe's. Also from Vitacost, I got the um, Hawaiian sunscreen from Alba Botanica. This is my default sunscreen that is not a zinc oxide sunscreen. I prefer zinc oxide sunscreens, but if I need something quick that I can spray, I will just use this Alba, Botan Alba Botanica one uh, because it is coral reef safe, which is the number one thing that I care about. I want to make sure that my sunscreen is safe to go into the ocean, and so this is really great for convenience. Smells wonderful. Alba Botanica is a great company that does a lot for women's um, education and empowerment, and it's cruelty free. And again, another Vitacost order, another Alba Botanica product actually, also is the very emollient uh, lotion. This is the one with an SPF in it, the Daily Shade line. So I have the very emollient lotion um, that's just, I think, the maximum hydration or something like that. It's the blue bottle. Well, clear bottle with the blue lettering. And I love it and I think it smells great and it is like Jergens to me. So I, I've already used this. Obviously you can see a little bit of it has been used, um, but it's still mostly new. Uh, I bought this because sometimes you are not going to be outside enough to justify slapping on the whole sunscreen and getting greasy all day but you want sun protection especially like even if like my car does not have tinted windows so i can get sunburn on my chest and on my um usually left arm and it's just nice to be able to just put this on in my normal post shower routine and know that i am protected from the sun it doesn't really smell like sunscreen at all to me um it doesn't smell like the lotion that i have it just kind of has that unscented smell you know so that's pretty great to me and I like it and I'll probably purchase it again I know this wasn't supposed to be a review but here you go final Vitacost purchase that I made this is a Badger Balm uh, lip balm and I just really like the Badger Balm company as you'll see there'll be something else there and that's my usual zinc oxide sunscreen of choice but yeah this is the pomegranate lip balm I bought it because I was hoping it would be kind of like the Burt's Bees one where it would be tinted but it's not that's okay because these um, tubes are super duper huge so you get a serious bang for your buck as far as lip balm goes and also the way it glides on it leaves like a nice sheen to it so my lips still aren't so like Pale. I don't know, my lips don't really, they, they blend in too much into my skin for my liking, so I like to have something shiny or something a little tinted, so this works for me. Um, and again, I opened this, I'm giving a review, sorry, it's supposed to be a haul, but I only opened it like two days ago, okay? <laughs> I have the Lavender uh, Bubble Bar from Sea Essentials, so excited to use this. I have used her Rose Bubble Bar that she had for Valentine's Day, like maybe a Valentine's Day or two ago and I'd never used a bubble bar before and it smelled so good and it lasted me like three bubble baths because I guess I just don't use that many bubbles but I thought it was a lot of bubbles when I just split it up so excited to use this guy because you all know I love me some lavender. The other Badger Balm uh, product I got was this After Balm, After Balm, After Bug Balm. <laughs> This after bug balm, uh, I guess it's just in a stick form. I get a bug bite. I'm supposed to rub it on me. I get bit all the time, all summer and fall actually long. So this will probably get a lot of nice use out of it. 
this giant thing I got from a local shop uh, that I don't usually go into um, but something just compelled me and everything was 30% off that day so I'm glad I went in uh, because they were going on vacation for about a month and I got this I can't even remember what it, Indian healing clay people rave about this stuff all the time and as you know I usually buy the tiny little bottle of a face mask from Petty Vore that I really like and um, that's also a clay so I'm hoping that this works just as well because this is super economical it was I think at full price it was $7.95 and I got it for 30% off but this thing has some weight to it this would be a lot of masks so I am hoping good things from this and then finally I got uh, I actually got four mineral fusion products I only have one with me one is a blush and I believe that the um, color is airy is what it's called like like the air um, <laughs> and it's a really pretty um, I don't know mauvey pink I'm <laughs> I'm not a beauty expert so that might be wrong but yeah I bought that and I have this liquid eyeliner I'm gonna have to set these things down I have this liquid eyeliner which I have never seen a cruelty free liquid eyeliner I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little disappointed in the size, um, but it's, I mean, it's got the little, the little, like, tip and everything, and it's, I just, I've never seen that, not cruelty-free, I have seen cruelty-free, Elf has one, I have not seen a green beauty cruelty-free one, so I'm excited to use it, it was a little pricey, so I'm hoping it lasts me a little while, but, I mean, it's great for stage. Um, I've been using gel liner and that's not so great for stage because my eyelids are so oily, it transfers and then it's gone. So I'm excited about this. And then there is this nail polish remover. I've only ever used nail polish remover from like the dollar store. So um, I don't think, I don't remember how much this cost, but I don't think it was too badly priced. I mean, anything that's not from the dollar store is going to seem expensive uh, but it's a pretty good sized bottle I think and I use mineral fusion nail polish so I'm, I'm sure it'll work for that I don't know if it works for anything else I don't know I'll find out I pretty much just use mineral fusion and Pacifica exclusively so we will find out and hopefully it's not super drying and doesn't tear up my nails and doesn't smell really funky and I will let you guys know I guess and then I have the Mineral Fusion Foundation in Deep 2 because towards the end of Wizard of Oz because I was doing a lot of sitting outside. Let me see if I can get this open. I was doing a lot of sitting outside. I was getting some color to me and I needed a summer foundation. Um, and, oh, this is a struggle, guys. <laughs> this is what happens when you try to keep things pretty and then you try to open it on camera. Um, yeah, so this is a, I like that this is pretty sturdy. Like, I feel like a lot of my foundations break super easily. So, okay, everything's sturdy. Oh, little clear thing fell out. Um, so yeah, this is my color. I really like the shade range of Mineral Fusion. A lot of cruelty-free companies that aren't Shea Moisture, which it would be the obvious choice, don't have a very good, um, shade range for Green Beauty products, and I think Mineral Fusion has a pretty good one um, so I really like this color I like that it is a compact too which I don't see too often either <laughs> look at me check in make sure my makeup's fine whatever um, so yeah that is the third mineral fusion product that I purchased all right everyone and that is it like I said it was going to be short and sweet if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you have any video suggestions or want to see any um, full length reviews, maybe actually written on my blog that I don't really use that often, <laughs> uh, leave a comment below and let me know um, what you want to know about. And uh, if you like me, subscribe to my channel and I will talk to you all soon. Bye!